Hi team. What a freaking year. All right. So <laughs> maybe you might have started the year strong. You had some big goals. You, you, you're leading and growing your business, your team, you're studying, you're learning, or you're still trying to build up your confidence to be able to do that. Yeah. Or like me, I am having a baby. I am building my business. I look after three coaches. I have my clients. I have massive freaking dreams that I am not shying away from turning into reality this year because whatever I put out, I want to freaking smash it. And for that, whatever you want to achieve, whatever I want to achieve, we need confidence, right? Confidence we're not born with. Confidence is not just a thing that we either have or don't have. Confidence is something that we need to freaking nurture every single day. We need to invest time in it. We need to look after it. And we need to do the right things in order to grow our confidence because otherwise, if we don't, it erodes. Yeah. What comes to mind for me is I've built a sandcastle. If I do not protect it from the wind, the ocean, as soon as the current comes in, gets washed away. So I need to protect it. I need to strengthen it. I need to add sand to it continuously because otherwise it gets blown away. So three things that I love to do to nurture and grow my confidence. Of course, there are many, many more things and I'd love to hear from you what yours are, but here are my three. So first, number one, that, uh, does so much amazingness for me and that is a strong morning routine. A strong morning routine that I do not deviate from that sets me up for success. Because if in the evening I'm saying, Nina, I'm going to go up at 6 a.m., I'm going to go to the gym and here are the five exercises that I'm doing and I have all of that done by 7 a.m. High freaking five, I can high five myself built my confidence for getting up on time, making it to the gym, getting the things done that I promised myself I'm going to get done at 7 a.m. And I can guarantee you guys, that's how you fill up your confidence glass. Because there's so many things during our day that we cannot control. We cannot control our people. We cannot control the weather. We cannot control little ones, our babies, what happens. And we also cannot control who we get to work with, what happens, what what clues are coming back to us. And that, of course, erodes our confidence, right? The more we feel like we are out of control, but the more you can build control, especially in the morning, and high five yourself for you to know, yes, I can, whatever I put out there, I can control, I can make happen, builds your confidence, my friends. Number two, plan. Plan the heck out of once you set yourself a goal or a target or you have a challenge you need to overcome, plan out how you're going to do that. Because when we have a target, we work backwards or we get a problem, we create a plan first before we act, we can structure our actions so we create clarity in our mind versus a whole lot of noise. And then when we start taking those steps as per our plan, it's much easier for us to test and see, are my steps getting me closer to my goal or further away? If they take me further away, ah, uh, that's a sign. I probably need to revisit my plan. All good, because we're still on control, right? Because we followed a plan. Plan didn't work out, but we can replan. Create that clarity again, and then we act again. So much nicer versus every single day waking up and thinking like, what am I going to do today? And do all sorts of random things or see your team doing all sorts of random things without structure. But the more you can act structure to your day and you can see these are my steps to reach my goal. These are the steps to solve my problem. The more zen you're going to be fills up our confidence glass. Number three, practice jumping my friends. So what do I mean by that? And I certainly practice that. A fair bit because oh boy that's what gives me perspective so when I jump I literally jump I hate jumping of anything well like not little not like a little step but for me it's more like jumping off a cliff yeah jumping out of a plane bungee jump whatever it is for me 
because that just lets my comfort zone completely explode. But I do it in a way where I'm hopefully not gonna kill myself <laughs> because when I skydive, there is something that catches me. Um, when I jump off a cliff, of course, I'm not just going to do this all by myself into massive freaking ocean washing machine, but in a way where people say, yep, this is safe. Here's your helmet. Here's your self sa safety vest. Yeah. But of course, the, for me, the act of jumping, that's what helps me see that when I listen to people, when I plan things out, when I trust myself, when I take all of the steps that I've recommended that I can do it. Hmm? And that in my mind then creates a way, way better perspective than anything else. When I feel overwhelmed, when I not, when I do not feel I have enough confidence to do something, when I am fearful, whatever those things are, that kind of like to talk me out of not doing something, out of doing something, <laughs> you know what I mean? And having that picture tells me whatever I fear to do today. Hey Nina, remember that jump where you couldn't talk for three hours because you were so shit scared? You did it anyways and it worked out, right? So that phone call that I might be fearing, the presentation that I might be fearing, that putting myself out there and seeing are people going to laugh about me when I tell them my next dream or pitch, pitch a new idea in relation to the jump. That's a freaking joke. So I can do this because last week, guess what? I jumped off that cliff. I was fearful. I did it anyways, and I made it so I can make this one. And even for me, if I feel like, should I give it one more go to put my baby to sleep or what else is going to happen? Nothing against that jump. So whether it's for you jumping out of a plane, off a cliff, whatever that craziness is that, she, that scares you shitless, but that you can do in a controlled environment, that gives me the ultimate confidence credits that keeps my glass full, that keeps... Right.